The last three ship parts from the Forest Naval have just been obtained. Now we head back to the Forest of Hope to collect the last three pieces there. And welcome to Time to Play Pikmin Day 7. In case you missed the title, we are entering the Forest of Hope. And it should be the last day we come here because I only need three parts. And with the blue Pikmin here, this shouldn't be a problem at all. But first, I'm going to be using so many blue Pikmin that I figured it'd be a good idea if I got some nectar out so that every single one of them becomes a flower. That way, no one falls behind. Unless they trip. Because they do. And it's annoying. But that's something that can't really be helped. Hm. Alright. Oh, it looks like I only have one leaf, but... Yeah, just one leaf. And as you can see, all the enemies are... Well, most of the enemies, I believe, are back. Don't know where they came from, but... Uh, and that's what I said back in, uh, what? What did I... What was it? Day 3? Day... I think it was about Day 3 I said that these guys would be here to fold up the bridge. Guys, don't take them away just yet. Please don't take them away just yet. I need you over here because I need you to tear down the other bridge. That way we can get that ship part that's up there. And while they're going to unfold that bridge, which will take so much time, I'm going to have I'm going to put the screen in the corner again. And we're back to get the next piece, and down there in the corner you can see that Olimar is fighting off some of the enemies to just help kill some time. And while they carry that part back, I'm going to go take the Pikmin and have them bring back the bodies of the enemies I killed off. As you can kind of see me killing them in the corner screen. Hmm. Well, since I still have enough Pikmin, I guess I could go get all the uh, dwarf bulb orbs that I killed off earlier and bring them back. Hmm. I can't believe I finally remember their name. The dwarf bulb orb. Full board. Kind of a hard name to say, but that's what it is. Okay, the first ship part is already going back to the landing site. Next step is to take the blue Pikmin and have them tear down that water wall. Then after they're done with that, I'm going to have them go over and move the box and enter the Snagrat's nesting area, or whatever you want to call it. The place with the evil birds with the bodies of a snake. Only 13 more ship parts left. Two of them are here. One is in the final trial, or I forget what the place is called, which means 10 is in the distant spring. And I have to get those 10 pieces in three days. At the very least. I probably could have brought out the blue Pikmin and just had them kill off these guys just by throwing them on top. But I'd rather just go hand-to-hand -hand combat right now because it just feels a little bit more satisfying. That's the only one left. That could be a potential threat anyway. Now to go get the blue Pikmin and have them bring down that wall. Mm, no, I don't need to pick them out right now. I'll let them bloom until whatever I can get out of them. Fortunately, the wall in the water here doesn't take any longer than about 10 seconds using about uh, 72 Pikmin, I guess. And up there is the Armored Beetle Cannon, I believe that's his name. Very easy guy to figure out and beat. You shouldn't lose that many Pikmin unless you're just incredibly careless so you don't get your aim right. But he'll be the last guy I go after. I just want to do this part and the next part so I won't have to rely on the blue Pikmin for the rest of the day. All right, let's go take care of the snag rats now. I usually save the red Pikmin up there to do it just because they'll get it done faster. And I take the blue Pikmin with me to the snag rats because if they can get the ship part, they don't have to go. Th I don't have to fight all three snag rats, just one. And they'll take the ship part and they'll go through the water. They're actually smart enough to go through the water. But it'd also be a good idea to not take that many Pikmin with you. I mean, you don't want them to... You don't want to be careless here. I'd say about... 
Yeah, 30, 32 is fine. And as you can see, a couple of them have now sprouted buds. I really don't know what I'm thinking. Eh, maybe I'm just going to take a few of these guys with me. Kind of hard to remember what I was doing. I have a good idea most of the time, and then I just go do something random. Probably just having it so I know exactly how many I have in my team at once. By putting those away, I'll know exactly how many I've lost and how many are following me. That's probably what I was doing. After all, I really don't need that many... Oh, good. Get some nectar. I wish they would listen to the whistle right away, but that's not the case. Now in here, I don't have to waste time killing off these Bulbors because if you use the blue Pikmin, they'll carry you through the water where we got the other part earlier. Saves a lot of time and a lot of grief. Also, you don't want to take... I guess you don't want to take that many Pikmin up with you just because they never... Well, not never, but most of them just fall into this little gap here, like that. And it can be quite a pain trying to get it so many of them over at once. Even when you use the C stick to get them around you, they just... It can be real hard to have more than that. If you had like 60 or 70, it's really hard to control. 30 is a good enough number. I really only need about 15, I believe, to carry the next part back. And that's where the snag rat is. Over... Hmm? Oh. It moved pretty fast. And it's... Already eaten the box. Three Pikmin. Uh, yeah, it eats three at a time. And if you can get him to, if you get the Pikmin to go after his head, like right now, oh, that's sweet. That's gonna do so much damage in a little bit of time. Uh, didn't get the opportunity this time. Of course. I guess if I attack it on its back, you really can't reach it. I really hate seeing my Pikmin eaten like that. In Pikmin 2, the snag rats are actually very easy. Except for the crested snag rats, I believe. They, those guys. Ooh. They can be a little pain. Can't exactly remember, but I remember they were much tougher than the snag rats. In fact, just about any enemy returning from Pikmin 1 to Pikmin 2 got nerfed down. Oh, he's stuck. Get him. Oh, alright. Let's see. If I've done this correctly, I should still have enough to have the blue Pikmin take him back. Yep. That's all I needed. Huh. One's missing? And it's not going the way I want it to go. Okay. <laughs> it's turning now after looking at after seeing the snag rat come up. Good job, guys. I'm betting the one fell off the cliff. Yep, he fell off the cliff. And with that done, we'll have our second part. And since they're carrying that back, I don't have to worry about them anymore, and I can just go get the red Pikmin and have them bring down the next wall. And I need them to do this real fast because this wall takes forever to go down. And I can't really use the yellow Pikmin because if I throw them up there with the bomb rocks and call them, uh, you know what? No. I take that back. I could have done it with the yellow Pikmin. All I had to do was just go up to him and touch him. I don't know what I was thinking. I can already see my mistakes now. Well, that's something to think about for the next time. Of course, you won't see me play this next time. I'll be playing this on my own free time.
And now we have the next ship part back, and it goes right on the front. Only 12 more left. One more in this part. And now I need these guys to go bring down that wall. Fortunately, the armored cannon beetle won't do anything until that wall comes down and we get a few steps into its vicinity. And it looks like no red Pikmin fell down there. And there's really nothing to do right now. I guess I could have a nice little close-up opportunity and have Captain Olimar lie down. I don't exactly know how or what he's doing. But I know if you do that when Pikmin are around, they'll carry him back to the ship. They'll bring him up to the Onion. And when he goes up, he falls down and fireworks come out. It's kind of interesting, really. It's a nice little Easter egg. Not something I put on my list, but... It's a nice little easter egg, nonetheless. Almost done. Just wish I knew what he was doing. What is he, practicing the backstroke? Or dreaming that he's drowning in pudding or something? Oh well, we're almost done here. We should get a nice clear shot at the armor cannon beetle. All I gotta do is throw one Pikmin in where he's sucking in air. He'll open his back, and then we'll get him. And I use the red Pikmin because, of course, these guys are just the best attackers in the game. All right, I got him before he died. I got him before he shook him off. Now, where's the part? Okay, there it is. Ah. The helmet. Or at least the radiation top. The radiation prevention top. And with that, we now have the last ship part, but it looks... Uh, I might be able to beat the time. Though I probably shouldn't be trying to carry him back. I should try to use all the Pikmin I have right now to get that ship part back. That's the only part that matters. See, I'll just use the rest of the Pikmin here to help them go a little bit faster. Or at least with the armored cannon beetle. That way, when it also uh, gets to their onion, it'll sp it no there won't be any Pikmin spe uh, seeds sprouted out. That way I don't have to worry about plucking them out of the ground. And it'll save a little bit more time. And here we go. And it looks like I just barely made it. With about, eh, it was about five seconds left to spare. And with that, we're done with the day. Let's see, two areas cleared off now. Only three areas left. The next day, I'll be going back to the impact site so I can get the last piece there, as well as also getting a large amount of Pikmin sprouted. And that's something you could do on the... I guess it would be the fifth day if you really wanted to go back there. But I'd like to clear off all the areas first, while I st and then I can just have an easier time and not have to worry about clearing them out again. I know I had to do it... I know I had to go back to this day again, but it was kind of necessary. Okay, and with that... We move on to day eight. We lost 12 Pikmin today, so that wasn't too bad. A quick trip to the impact site for just one part. 